Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and customize your own bongo cat. So first of all, you're going to want to go to the link in the description, the first one, and enter that. Once you're on here, it will download this zip for you. Open that. Once you're in here, what you're going to want to do is click on the bongo cat and press extract all. Extract all of that. And then go in this file. Now all of these should pop up. You can get rid of that. And then you're going to want to um, click on the settings. Once you're on the settings, you want to change this to true. And then for these, I'm going to pick W and E. But make sure these two are capitals okay because i made that mistake and i made them not capitals and it messed my whole thing up so just make sure the two letters are capitals or if you're using numbers then it doesn't matter also do not add another key because i have tried this and there's no way you can do it you have to it's just not possible so um you can only do two keys so then after that, you're going to click that and it's going to say save. Do you want to save? And I'm going to say yes. So, once that is saved, I'm going to drag the V2 file there, where it says V2, and then I can close that. Because then I can just open it back up and it's up here. So, what you're going to want to do next is go to the other link in the description and go to this. If you need an editing software, then this is great. This is absolutely amazing. I really recommend it. But if you already have one, then that's fine. So, what I'm going to do is press open image. I'm going to go to the V2 pack. And I'm going to open up first my mouse BG. So, once you've got this up, start customizing it. What I do first, normally what I do first is go into this, remove. Um, and then draw cut out zoom in keep zooming in on the cluster thing and then just i forgot you have to bring your softness all the way down to zero because otherwise it's like fuzzy and it makes it look all weird so bring your softness down to zero i'm also going to tie on the size down quite a bit because otherwise that's annoying but just one by one just try get rid of all of this just like that and now we don't have the watermark because all that is it's just a watermark so what i'm going to do next is i am going to get a keyboard so let's search up ducky um let's just search up ducky one too many make sure to put p um uh png at the end and uh this one so one thing is you can see you see here if you're on pc or on phone or just whatever you're doing it on you, i don't think you can do it on phone but see on the outline here this is all white but then when you actually click on it it goes to this this means it is a real pgn but for some of the things that already have like um, the things in the background so you can see here they already have the thing in the background that's not going to work you, that will show up but that doesn't matter because I've got something else that we can do to that to stop that from happening but for now I'm just going to uh, save the image as save that then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to do add image browse I'm going to go to my downloads gonna go to this and there you go so what i'm now gonna do is i'm gonna turn that round and i'm gonna overlay you can actually what i will do because it makes it so much easier if you go to draw make sure that's turn the size down a bit soften to zero and i'm just gonna go over this and just rub out this keyboard makes it so much easier saves you a lot of time because otherwise you have to do all the other bending stuff but 
what I have done wrong here is, you see, I am supposed to click on this layer. I was, I, I didn't click on this layer because now if I go on this, this moves along with me. So what I'm going to do is, it's really easy because you can just click undo. And that's all gone. So what I now need to do is go on that and do it on this. So let's go again, draw, and let's rub this out. Now, what I'm gonna do after I've rubbed this out is just put this over the top, put the other keyboard just where that one is, that one was, even. So go back to this one, click on the keyboard, put it here. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit because otherwise not much of it fits on the screen. Turn it a little bit this way. And I'm just gonna shrink it. I think that should be... That should be okay. So, once I've done that, what I do want to do now is I'm going to maybe... What, what what do I normally do? I normally get, so I'm going to search up Galaxy. I know I spent that wrong, but um, this one, this one's quite nice. So what all you also can do if you don't want to um, have to save it to your thing, do copy image address, come back onto here, uh, add an image, URL, paste it in there and load it. Press add to current and there you go you're going to want to move this behind the bongo cat thing and then you got your background what you're also going to want to do is you don't have to do this i'm going to shrink mine a little bit just so you can get all of that nice background in there right like that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lock this so that that doesn't move around because that is a bit annoying and i'm going to lock this as well that's already locked and that. So, you can do whatever you want to wear. Like, you could actually, what I am going to do, you could like get maybe that and just make the brush size smaller. And I am on this by accident, but remember, I keep doing that. I'm not very good at remembering to do it, but you have to click. If you're drawing or doing anything to do with that, click on the layer. Remember to click on the layer because I've made that mistake multiple times. So look, this is just a cool little touch that I do sometimes. Fix that up a little bit. Oh, I've just messed that up, but. So now, I think that's cool. You can do whatever you want to it. Put like an earring on it, put a hat on it, do whatever you want. Put a new mouse pad on. I did that. What I am gonna do is because I've deleted that watermark, I'm now gonna make my own. And you guys can do that if you want as well, just so that it can't get stolen. So I'm gonna do uh, and these underscore hyper remember to go follow mv hyper um now done that i'm gonna make that text much smaller that size is probably about right gonna get this and shrink it it's perfect size so that should be good Turn it round, just so it's like in the right space. Shrink it a little bit more, because it's a little too big. And then, there you go. So, that's all I'm gonna do now. Normally I'd do a little bit more. Maybe put like a gaming chair in the background. What I will show you actually, just so you guys know, ear. So let's say you go for an earring. Um, say you have that thing in the background like here. Oh, I don't know why that's doing that, but it already has it in the background here. That doesn't matter because what you can do, if 
for I'm gonna go for let's go with just go with one of these it's gonna look messy but it's just for the video so copy image address I'm gonna go back into here URL paste that in there add to current so what you can do is if I make that small smaller so if you go to cut out magic cut out and remove make sure you're on the layer click the white and then it disappears that is something that's really good about this so now after that i'm going to do back to normal um draw cut out remove softness zero i'm going to just get rid of the first earring so i only want one Go back to a rain. Make sure this is in front because you want it on top. This does look really messy, but it's just for the thing. Doesn't look too nice. But there. And once you've done that, I'm just gonna press save. Make sure this is a PGN. Don't change the name. Keep everything the same. You just want to change it to PGN and then click download. Once that is downloading. What we're going to want to do is press open and nope sorry that's wrong show in folder you're going to want to press show in folder so now i'm going to go off of this go off of that i'm going to open up my v2 shortcut i'm just going to drag this file the b2 mouse pad thing into here and it's going to come up with this this is why you can't change the name the destination already has a file named mouse bg pgn so you're going to want to place replace the file and destination so now if i go back onto my bongo cat you can see that i got it like this so i'm now going to customize the arms what you're going to want to do is go back to the chrome open image and i'm going to pick the up the up is probably one of the ones that is going to be on there the most. So all I'm, what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to I'm going to get the draw. I'm going to make it uh, let's make it blue. I like the color blue. Make this much smaller. And then let's just give him like. bit of a glove you know so once I've done this all I'm gonna want to do you can you guys can spend much more time and do much easier things and much better things I mean and make much nicer looking things but I'm just rushing this a little bit so what I'm gonna want to do go to white and then rub up this otherwise it's like that so this is just a rush version so don't worry you can spend a load more time on it i'm gonna press save make sure you don't change the name pgn download same thing again show and folder then what i'm gonna do is bring this bring the up put it in there and replace the file in this destination so now if i go on the bongo cat it shows up like that Oh, uh, I haven't actually changed the this bit. This was because of the technical um, difficulty thing. It messed up all my settings, so I'm gonna have to redo that. But that's fine because it doesn't take too long. So there we go. Got that. Uh, so now, if I open my Bongo Cat, it should be. There we go. Like that. Got my mouse here. And like that. So that's pretty cool. Keyboard looking good. And yeah, it's working. So, next we are going to do... I am going to do the... 
Hmm. I'm going to do the left one. Make sure you always click create new when you're doing a new thing. If you're adding something to your image, like when I was adding the keyboard to my mouse BGN, uh, BG thing, you press add to current. But when you're making a whole new thing, remember to click add new, uh, create new because otherwise it will overlay your latest one with your newest one. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to put the glove on him again. Actually, no. Wait, yeah. So, softness, put that down to zero. And then I need to get the colour blue. This isn't going to look perfectly the same. Again, you guys couldn't do a much better job than me. I'm just rushing this, really. But, yeah. So there we go. Again, just click save. PGN, don't change the name. Download. Then, show in folder. Gonna go off here so it's easy to see. Open my... Open my V2. Left. Drop it in. Replace. Let's check it out. How does this look? So, okay, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it does. But I thought it would look a little bit worse than that. It still kind of looks like it's the same glove, I guess. So, last thing we're going to do. You can't actually change the mouse, I don't think. I have tried and it didn't work. But I don't know if that's just me or... But I wouldn't try change it because it might mess up all your other stuff. But um, what I'm going to do now is... Last one, so home. I'm gonna give you an example. When you do this, if I click right and then add to current, it overlays my last one with my new one. So what we're gonna just wanna do is just open, right, create new. So just gonna do the glove again. Normally, one thing that I do like to do, I did, I just did a glove because I thought it'd be quite cool. But normally, make that a bit smaller. And just give him little claws. Because that does look really effective. And then, what I also do, I do this on my E key, not on my W key. Because my W key are going to be pressing a lot, but my E key is like other stuff. So, I do that. And it looks pretty cool. So, this, is, this isn't going to look right. This isn't going to, because the glove's not going to be on. But I'm just doing this so I can show you, because it looks really cool. So, let's press show and folder. Go off of all of this, because otherwise it's really annoying. Move into that. Replace in destination. So look. Got a glove. W. Nice. E. See, because it looks it looks really effective and cool. I kind of like it. I don't know, you might not, but I do. So, once I've done this, what you're going to want to do is go to Streamlabs. And... Um, I'm going to make a new scene. So what you're going to want to do is open your bongo cat. Open the actual bongo cat thing and bring it on top of your um, Streamlabs. So then click add source. You're going to want to click game capture. Once you've done that, add source. I already have a bongo cat. So you, if you, um, I'm going to click add new source instead. Just call it B for bongo cat. Um, so it says auto here but you're going to want to click on that and change it to capture a specific window put my bongo cat on top here and then it should say bongo cat exe you have to have the bongo cat actually on top and like open for it to say it because otherwise it will just say nothing so click on that and then to keep all the other things and done so then you can get your bongo cat and move it wherever you want like this so there we go, and then if I go on here, when I'm typing, if I press W, if I press E, if I leave it, W, E, W, E, yeah. So it's like that. And that is how you add your bongo cat to your stream. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe, leave a like, and goodbye.